Welcome back to the channel golfers. Today I'm at Wycridge Golf Course in North Leeds. This is a par 70 course and one I have played a number of times in the past. It's been a little while since I was last here and I've got the wintry conditions to contend with today. As usual I'm looking to break 90, so let's see how I get on. I started today full of confidence. I don't know if you've had these days before, but I'd been down the range a couple days previous to this round and it had gone really well. I'd left with this sense of confidence for my next round. Turned up to Wyke on this day and I went to the range before teeing off and again just built on that confidence. Went up to that first tee box feeling like I was really going to shoot low. And the first hole at Wyke gives you a platform to take that confidence onto the course. It's not a particularly hard hole. It's a par 4, just less than 300 yards and it's dead straight. So keeping the drive in play and then unfortunately catching the bunker means that I'm on the green for three with a chance of making par, which unfortunately has just come up short. But coming off this first hole or any first hole on a golf course with a bogey for me is not too bad. Now where this course really tests you is this second hole because it comes so early in the round. 560 yards on a hole that sort of constantly turns to the right with quite a bad camber from left to right downhill makes this a really challenging hole. It doesn't go very far. Keeping that drive in play was a massive bonus though, and then trying to stick to the left hand side of this fairway is always my tactic. That three wood wasn't great, and this three wood was even less good. But I am trundling along, making my way to the green. This leaves me in my fourth shot with a four iron into the green, which unfortunately I pulled to the left. So this leaves me chipping on with the 50 degree wedge. This shot's not bad at all, but unfortunately it catches a wet patch on the green. Meaning that it just didn't roll at all. It's left me with a long putt for bogey, which unfortunately, the dampness of the greens has just thrown me and I've completely smashed that past the pin. Leaving myself a difficult putt coming back, which unfortunately has lipped out and means I come off this second hole with a triple bogey. And the confidence I started the day with has quickly been eroded. Onto the third then, and this is another fairly straight par four. And if you keep your driving play like I've done here, this shouldn't be too difficult to score fairly well on. It leaves me 122 yards into the pin, and I've thinned this P wedge straight into the tree, and it's bounced straight right. You can see what I think of that one. Wow. So this has left me with a 56 degree wedge into the green. Fairly easy shot. And I just hit the front edge of the green. It's not particularly near the pin, but it, we are putting. So a long putt for par. Really just looking to put this somewhere close where I can tap it in for a bogey. It has rolled a little bit past the pin, leaving me a tricky one. And luckily the pin was in the way at that one, otherwise it was steaming past. I needed to hit the pin. But getting away with the bogey on that after hitting the tree, probably not too bad. The fourth hole is a hole I always find very difficult, just because of the approach into the green can be quite difficult, but the tee box is in a favourable place today. Best drive ever on this hole. I think it's probably about 30 yards forward of where it normally is. So this has left me an eight iron into the green. Unfortunately I've just pushed this one a little bit right. I thought originally it was going to be in the bunker, but it did carry it and it ends up on the right hand side of the green. This chip's not terrible, it's just that the green rolled a lot further than I thought it would. Leaving me a very testing putt for par. Which I've had a good effort at, but means I can just tap in for the bogey. And it's funny how golf goes, because I really did start this day with sort of an air of confidence that I was going to shoot very well and six over through four holes wasn't what I envisaged. Onto the fifth then, and this is probably the first really decent shot of the day. That ruined everything. That was an absolute belter. Seven iron off the tee box has just caught the front corner of the green, leaving me a birdie put towards the pin, which I did really nicely actually. And I'm definitely not giving up this par, making sure the ball's clean and tapping that one in for par. Finally. 
some regain confidence going into the sixth then. This is a funny hole because if you really catch driver you can end up in the water. So I've just hit three wood, probably a bit further than I thought I was going to to be honest. And it's left me a 9-9 into the green. Which I've caught really well. I can't be disappointed with this shot at all. It doesn't hit the green, uh, but the green's not a particularly big target where the pin is and it's just off. This 50 degree wedge isn't fantastic and leaves me a testing putt for par which doesn't even lip out. Not a great putt that one. That means I've got to settle for the fourth bogey of the round. On to the seventh then, this is 136 par three and maybe one of the luckiest thin shots you're likely to see. It's not in a good place, but we are putting. Uh, I've almost got to put through the fringe there, so it's been difficult to judge as that one, and it's left me a very testing putt for par. Which unfortunately I've just not hit hard enough, and again, I've got to settle for a bogey. I'm frustrated here because I feel like I'm on the precipice of some good golf. On to the 8th then, and this tee shot is not great. Unfortunately, if you go right on this fairway, you are in the farmer's field. And that one was cutting it fine, so I took a provisional. And nearly killed one of the ducks in the process. This second drive is absolutely fine though, and unfortunately I didn't find that first drive. But this is what I was dealing with on the tee box. Like I said, I've played this course a few times and I've never seen this before. Just a lot of kill any of you lads. They all survived my errant driving though. So my fourth shot is a four iron from 240 yards away. And unfortunately I've just pulled this left a little bit into the trees down the left hand side of the fairway. So this has left me chipping from about 86 yards away. So I've just took a 56 to get over the trees and put me on the green. And it's actually gone pretty good. Looking to lag this close to the pin. That's an okay effort. Has left me a test in one though. But I drop it for the second triple bogey of the front nine. Not ideal really. On to the ninth then, and this is a fairly short par four, 272. So again, just taking three wood. And this has gone pretty well. I've just sort of laid up before the bunkers there. This has left me a 56 wedge into the green, which has actually gone really well. I wasn't sure whether they were going to get over the bunkers, but it, it did quite comfortably and left me a solid birdie putt, which unfortunately comes close but doesn't drop, but means it's a very stress-free par, which given the front nine, I'll take all day. Not my finest opening nine holes of golf, but it's not a disaster either. The two triple bogeys being the biggest disappointment so far. I'm currently reading John Sherman's book, The Four Foundations of Golf, and a point he hammers home is that lowering your score doesn't come from chasing more birdies, you do it by keeping double bogeys off the card. So that's something I'm going to try and do going into this back nine. The tenth then is another short par four, 298 yards, and again, you've got like a stream about 220 yards down there, so again I'm just hitting three wood, getting as close to that as I can, and that's left me a P wedge into the green, which for the second time today, I've thinned onto the green. Thinned onto the green for the second time today. You just gotta take your look where it comes sometimes. So I do have a birdie put here. And that is a long way short. That means again, I've got another test input for par. But I managed to sync this one for back to back pars for the first time today. So I'm trying to build a little bit of momentum here. Hole 11 then is another par 4. Again, this one's fairly short, but it tends to be quite windy. So just keeping this in play is key. I managed to do that there. It's not the longest drive. But it's left me a 9 iron into the green, which I thought would be plenty of club, but the wind has absolutely killed this and it's come up just short of the green. So it's left me chipping on with a 50 degree. 
And that's not terrible. I've hit it a little bit further than I'd like to. But it's a pretty simple putt for par. So that's three in a row now. This is the golf that I felt like I could play at the start of the day. On to the 12th. This is another par four, but you've got a body of water down the left hand side. So just trying to stay away from that. It's not the greatest drive and has left me a long approach in with the seven iron, which has actually gone really well. I got a little bit of draw on this and it's just bounced on the front. Leaving me a long putt for birdie, which is really well judged. That means I've, I've got a fairly makeable putt for par. Four on the bounce now. That confidence is coming back. The 13th is a tricky par three. It's about 180 yards and it is uphill and they always tend to tuck the pin behind these bunkers. So I've took three hybrids and I've come up a little bit short. It's not a bad place to miss, to be honest. And has left me a 60 wedge onto the green. Now that's not bad at all. I've never parred this hole. It's usually, it's usually a safe double bogey. But I've got a par put here and he's only gone and dropped it for five pars on the bounce. Absolutely delighted now. Never bad, On to the 14th, this is probably the toughest hole on the course after the second one. And this is not the drive you want to see. A big duck hook left. Um, and I'm sort of punching through bushes here, trying to get it back in the fairway with three wood. The reason this hole is so hard, it's because it's quite long for a par four, at least for a player of my standard and there's a big body of water in front of the green. Unfortunately, I've got balls here and I've gone for it and it's cost me. So a ball in the water means I've got to drop where the ball crossed the line. Uh, so I'm chipping onto the green with a 50 wedge. And yeah, that's just a safe one. Get it on the green and put. So just looking to two put this and not blow up. And that's a pretty good effort and means unfortunately I'm tapping in for the third triple bogey of today. Tough hole that one though. The 15th then is a par four with a dog leg to the right. So what I'm looking to do here is just get this up to the corner to give me a look at the green. Annoyingly you are quite far away so I'm just hitting three wood. Now I'm conflicted about this shot because on one hand it's one of the best three wood shots I've ever played in my life. And on the other hand, I didn't see two older chaps that were on the green and I could have quite easily killed one of them. So thankful for both sides of that. One that it hit the green and two it didn't kill anyone. Uh, the first putt wasn't great and means I've got a very testing putt for par. But again, managed to drop this one to try and reignite the par train. But genuinely, I was so happy with that three wood shot. The 16th is another longish par three. It's a little bit downhill, but the wind always seems to play with this one. So I've hit five iron and again, it's come up short just on the front edge. Do you know what? I nearly used my 50 degree there. I'm gonna use nine iron. This is for John. So heeding John's advice here and using the nine iron for a bump and run. I haven't done this for a long time. And to be honest, it was the right play. And I, I don't know why I don't think to do it more often. It was about the right distance, John. Just pulled it. I just didn't get the line right there. So it's left me putting for par, which I've blazed past the hole a little bit. So I left myself a testing one coming back. But I've dropped it for bogey. Recovered. So yeah, not a terrible hole in the end. The 17th then is the second par five, 521 yards. And this is the drive of the day. This might be the drive of my life. Best drive of the day, I think. 267 yards in the winter. I don't think I've ever managed that before. And obviously, you follow that up with a top three wood. Why wouldn't you? So my third shot is an approach into the green now from 133 using eight iron. And unfortunately, I pushed this one a little bit to the right and it's just dancing with those bunkers. So I took my shot from down there and then obviously I moved the green. Carried this bunker, bounced about there 
My balls just took took a dip. Winter golfer. So I've just dropped next to the bunker and now it's a 60 degree wedge shot onto the green that I've got all wrong, all kinds of wrong. And it's back off the green. So chipping back with a 56 and this one's a lot better. And means I should have an easyish putt for bogey. Shame that one, because I thought I'd played the hole quite well. Uh, just that dodgy 60 degree chip. On to the last then, a 330 yard par 4. This is fairly straight. Again, it does have some more water in front of the green. Uh, so the tee shot's all about keeping it in play. Which has happened. Leave me 115 yards into the green, so I took 9 iron. Unfortunately, I don't know if the wind took this a bit further or I just caught it better than I thought I was gonna, but it's totally flown the green and meant I'm chipping back towards the pin with the 50 degree wedge. That's not terrible, and it's left me with a solid chance of making par. But I just missed the hole on the left side. It gives me a fairly stress-free bogey. To finish off, quite a solid back nine there. So I finished the back nine six over, giving me a total score of 87, 17 over par for the round. I'm delighted with that score, given that I'm in the process of trying to improve my technique, and there were glimmers of that improvement in places today. The drive on 17 being the personal highlight for me. Other than a couple of damp patches on the course, it was in really good condition for the time of year. How many of you are managing to get out in the current weather? Unless you're in sunnier climates, of course. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching golfers, if you did enjoy the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future golf content. See you in the next one.